Hello everyone, and welcome to Short Rest for episode two of Ventir. Oh uh, boy. Well, we had our adventurers finally meet each other for the first time. We had our two employees, which was uh, Arrow and Diva. You both have been hired. Uh, and then we had our guests uh, for Phoenix, Legati, and Morse. I wanted, we, we sort of explored a little bit of you guys having an individual roleplay moments and experiences. Uh, I wanted to see how you guys did with a quick pair moment, uh, which is sort of reason why I made like employees and, and guests. Uh, and then have you guys just thrown into the water, not literally, but who knows in the future, well. uh, and see how you guys do. But uh, I, I find it really fun. I think the person really who was really gunning it for their own roleplay pleasure was probably D.Va. Uh, I love it the how each time you're like, sure. Let's get it on. Let's go. 50 gold. Now I know your price. That's one price. It goes up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Depending if she likes you or not. I, mean, I did get an offer and I didn't take it because I'm all automatically, I'm like, I don't like you. <laughs> That's funny that we all gauge that kind of. I feel like most of us gauge that. Like, something about no you. One like. huh? no. no one liked Tanner. Huh? No one liked Tanner. Shocker. I was hoping it would just be him that was taken over. Rest in peace, David. David uh, and uh, Gregory. Sorry about that. Yep. Oh, and Gregory. I think I only wrote down David. No, because he was and in the, the lower deck. Oh, no, I wrote In the wilds. Down. Oh, no, I wrote down David. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the people who sur survived, uh, I think beyond you guys is just Ambrosia, because where she was. I feel like Legati's gonna give us a speech about this is why you don't stand. <laughs> this is why you don't stand near the edge of the boat. I think she would be prone. I'll mark her prone. Uh, definitely was not expecting that, but I love that how there was a bit of foresight for for Legati is like I don't stand by the edges, not me. Uh, and you're like, see, look. <laughs> this is why. And if barrels right. go up, they're gonna come down. It's inevitable. Yeah. That's that's what happens. He was very obtuse with that. He was just like, oh, they're going to come down eventually. It's like, yeah. We really had a profit on board today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so summary of what today was, it was very much of you guys just role-playing with each other and role-playing with some NPCs, uh, kind of finishing a little bit of some initial quests that you had in mind, especially like Legati having to ask uh, Ambrosia about like, hey, what the hell is going on with these cl cloaked figures? Uh, also, can you tell me more about lore? Because you're going to be my lore dump, to be really honest. Uh, you're super interested, so hey, it's great. Yeah, I really um, wanted him to walk around just asking people what the hell's up. <laughs> I mean, it's good I asked those first guards because yeah. I immediately solved my quest. Uh, we also learned from uh, Phoenix, oh no, sorry, not from Diva, that Pepper showed up, had their had her discussion with Tanner's people, mm -hmm. uh, and then just never came back. Yeah, sauce. Yeah. So. Is she the chum? Because that's bad. Is she the chum? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. It's brutal. Mm, I don't know. No one investigated the chum. No one was going mean, to stick I, their hand in it other than I maybe Lagarde. I turned to die. It smelled bad. Did she smell bad? Was that a known trait of her? No, I think that's a known trait of body parts. <laughs> I would imagine, and... and Temple, you can say it, uh, you can confirm or not, but I would imagine a lot of the ladies at the Red Maw are perfumed and lotioned constantly. Depends on the lady and the reason. Mmm. I'll like still say, I'll say Pepper was a clean one. <laughs> exactly. She's experienced. Uh, and the fact that Phoenix uh, <laughs> wanted to, want, just wanted to talk to one person and ended up talking to everyone. That's never happened. I think that's probably character-wise blown her mind that all these people wanted to walk up to her doctor. Because like I said, I was like, she's aware that celebrations and things happen, but she's very kind of off in the distance and does not get invited to those things. So she's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> the most socially awkward character does the most talking. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it always like Not that? Not by choice, by <laughs> force. <laughs> we will <laughs> make you talk. Yeah. Talk to me, damn it. Your uh, <laughs> skills will improve because of this. 
there is a monk thing that's funny because Mike was like, you know, your stats improve at a certain level. I'm like, I, that would make sense for her if she goes around with this group after a certain amount. That's of time. after I was. We were discussing like up to 14th level and beyond, and I was like, that's not gonna happen for a while. I'm like, she's not great at it, but she's probably a little less awkward. <laughs> uh, Nick, I'm sure you can tell. You could, you probably know this as well. Monks, they're broken. Yeah, monks are completely broken. We were going over how broken they are. You love monks, <laughs> Titan. I yeah. would say they're my favorite to play. Oh, uh, what was his name? Uh, uh, your uh, li uh, Lion and character, Rupert, Rupert oh, yes, was a, was yes, a monk. Yes, Rupert! <laughs> That's yeah. right. My little uh, cowardly lion. And uh, I wasn't expecting... I mean, I love the fact that it makes sense that, that D.Va would be like mm. all praise Rakdos, and I wasn't expecting for you, uh, Steve, to be like, I'm against this, or at least... I'm not, I'm wary about this. I get why he's worried about it, because for some reason he's worried about the blood magic, which I didn't want to deny or confirm or deny, so I'm just like, we're going to pivot to the other reason why that might be. So. Mm -hmm. Which well, I don't think you very... confirmed or denied it. I did not confirm or deny that. No. I plead the fifth. It's, <laughs> it's also, it's also very, it's also, you know, in my travels in the other various, um, baddies i fought we'll leave it that way um there's usually like a couple of shared traits among that particular style of magic mm. and you know i do know that there can be certain blood rituals used so that's why i was curious when i saw blood magic like huh i don't have to kill you do i your mm -hmm. dice didn't let Find you out. my dice did not do let me. would you would i mean this is out of curiosity would you have killed her if you were like Blood magic confirmed. Uh, no, I, I, it's more, it's okay. I would need to know more than just, oh, it's blood magic. I must kill. It's more yeah. like, what are you using this for? What is your purpose behind it? Like, what other things are you using blood magic for? Right? I mean, and, until and you ask those questions and get solid answers, all you know is that it's for entertainment purposes. Woo, fire. <laughs> yeah, hence why I said, oh, it's just, you're just a blood witch. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're fine. I'm going to leave. I didn't expect to get you as a sparring partner. That's why I asked you, what did I see? Because I was like, she would be not attracted in like a physical way, but like to key in on that, because that's one of her goals. I just the way you asked was just so weird. Yeah, so I caught that awkward. too. I was like, uh, I'm like, are, what? <laughs> you coming on to me? <laughs> I was like, if, you, if it's a sparring partner you want, sure, but there's better ways of asking. Uh, also, it matches her perfectly. She does not know how to <laughs> do that. Also, you you beat sacks of meat in the basement where you live. Yeah, she works for a butcher. So she does deliveries back and forth, and then, like, he lets her go over there and, like, beat the hell out of a side of beef because that's what she does. She doesn't have a punching bag, nor can she afford one. <laughs> You don't have a place like, for it. How, 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 much is, how much of this is euphemism and how much of this is truth? <laughs> I don't know. I have to find out now. This is very that sketch. is all true. The whole time I was that just like... That is all true. Uh, sketch. <laughs> the, I think the last thing we, we learned, at least from one of our characters, where they're from. So we learned from uh, from Morris that you're from Mosted. Uh, from Lawnwood, which is actually a city that I don't think our original party even visited. Uh, so interesting to have that, uh, sort of a religious town, uh, in the Esfus domain, which I don't think was ever established. I know that Arkling was a, which is a religious town in the kingdom, but not here. Uh, but new place. Uh, last thing, uh, again, I like to show a little bit of my hand when it comes to short rests. Uh, yes, a little bit of that chum was a result <laughs> of the red mob but that wasn't solely the biggest reason i feel like that dude was calling him with his little flute I we knew it. i keep flopping back and forth on him one moment i'm like he's super sus and the next i'm like no he's fine and my thing like, was oh, like thing, what, he's sus. was your insight not high enough no i mean also probably that but that's just even me as a person i'm like he might be suspicious or he might not be I Ooh. can't tell. He, how I feel about him depends on what happens next. Mm -hmm. So. Well, I think v, uh, not v, uh, Diva was the only one to clock that there was some sort of like puff That's, and yeah. disappearance. I missed it. <laughs> I think yeah, she's I'm too busy with the that. water and the the boat breaking in front of her. The yeah. boat. 
Hi, my name is Moores, and I'm prone. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Me too, brother. <laughs> That's what it sucks to play. Like, yes, you got when you have such a martial character, like even as Bira, because her dex was literally zero, so her save was zero. So it was just like hard to hit you. Yes, but in these situations, fuck. <laughs> my my dex is minus one. Yeah, See, mm. plus three. I'm, I'm prone. prone. Oh, your <laughs> dice just betrayed you. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah, Arrow actually has a good dex. I have a plus it's five. It's my so top like, skill. Yeah. That's what I put everything into. It's okay. But uh, above moments. the above the table talk coming from next uh, next session, you guys will be going right into a fight. Um, I didn't expect there to be another red maw. Like I thought something was up, but I didn't think it was gonna be the oh, creature, but bigger. I can give you the name because again, this is all above board talk. But this is the mother red maw. I knew oh, it! Yeah. We killed the baby and didn't have a baby. I just saw the red and I was like, there's another red mob, or Tanner has been lying the whole time and he never killed it. I thought it no, was the I... lying part. <laughs> yeah. No, I figured he's th somebody killed something because there's a big ass skull in the bar. Yeah. But I figured, I'm like, there's more to this story, so there might be another one or something. So. Oh, yeah, that's actually that's a good point. Uh, Arrow was the one who was able to find out a little bit more about the original event of the death of the red mob. Mm -hmm. Uh, it wasn't just Tanner. It wasn't just Tanner, and uh, it almost seems like he's the one getting all the credit. Yeah, that's why I keep swapping with uh, Volrad because I'm like, he has motive. He's got great motive to like try to bring Tanner down. If he was like overlooked, mm. but at the same time, I'm like, I don't, I don't necessarily get those vibes. Yeah. Well, because it wasn't his friend; it was somebody else's friend, right? Or was it his friend? Well, it was, no, it was Volrad's friend. It was oh. for his friend. Um, yeah. But yeah, you don't, I mean, you see the, I mean, from all the engagements that all of you guys have had with Volred, it's less of like, I can't wait to kill this guy. And it's more like, this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it, there's a, still a lot of open questions. Nothing has fully been confirmed. So there's a lot of open questions up in the air. Uh, but uh, any final questions before we call this a short rest? I'm like, that, that little whistle is used for something else. That's what I say. <laughs> I mean, unless the red maw is attracted to birds. I don't know. He's like a perfectly suspicious character. Yeah. He needs the lawyer. <laughs> oh, that's what I was oh, going to say. I thought, like, <laughs> I thought, like, the favor that Morris was talking about when he mentioned his friend died, I thought it was because his friend died that he needed legal consult. I didn't know no. that it was like because he got drunk and belligerent. So the, the little summary that uh, Haynes gave Morris was back when this guy was just an itty bitty, you know, no nothing. Uh, he was drunk. I helped him out. We were both young uh, and he was able to get out scot free. And he said, You couldn't pay me. And he basically was like, I owe you a favor. And because this guy grew over time, he's like, that favor's gotten big now. Because imagine if that information never got out. It's like almost going for like a political campaign and finding out that you, you know, were drunk and could have gotten thrown out somewhere. Again, we're, this is all fantasy. This is all fantasy at this point, but. <laughs> well, it kind of did. Yeah. But you got a good amount of cash. Um,. You just have a big sack of coin in your pocket. Which, which is, is also going to weigh you down. Oh, great. More weight. <laughs> you got Yay. Like, oh, for three months. And it's been like three minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Whippy. Great. Uh, thank you, everyone, uh, for joining us for the short rest. Hopefully you enjoyed this little summary. And uh, we'll be back with session three of Ventir. Bye. Hopefully above water. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> for some of us.